provided code snippet serves various purposes. One, it endeavors to load the RP2 extension, enabling the use of our code within a Jupyter notebook. Two, if the extension is not detected, an automatic attempt to install RP2 through pip is made. 3. In case the pip installation encounters issues, the script resorts to installing or base via the Conda package manager, followed by RP2 installation via pip. 4. Following the verification of the RP2 library's presence, essential Python libraries including random, cburn, warnings, matplotlib, piplot, and numpy are imported. 5. A random seed is set to guarantee result reproducibility. 6. Two functions, namely tossjoin for simulating a coin toss and draw double graph for plotting paired line graphs, are defined. 7. A confirmation message is printed to signify the successful loading of libraries and functions. This code snippet proves valuable in establishing the requisite environment to seamlessly work with Python and our code within a Jupyter notebook. Its logic ensures the availability of essential packages for executing subsequent code snippets involving statistical analysis data visualization and amalgamation of R and Python capabilities. Importing the RP2 package in Python facilitates seamless interaction between R and Python programming languages. This library serves as a bridge, enabling the execution of our code within Python scripts and vice versa. Utilizing RP2 allows users to harness the unique advantages of each language, while R boasts a multitude of statistical analysis and visualization libraries. Python offers versatile programming features and a rich collection of libraries. Integrating both R and Python functionalities in a project is essential in fields like data analysis, machine learning, and scientific research. This fusion capitalizes on the strengths of both languages, allowing for a more robust and comprehensive approach to solving complex problems. In the following R script, two significant packages, Kaplato and Lust, are being installed using the install. Packages function. These packages play a crucial role in data visualization and clustering analysis. Moreover, the script introduces a custom function named Toscoin. This function emulates a coin flip by leveraging the run to function to generate a random number ranging from 0 to 1. If the generated number is under 0, 5, the function yields 1 to symbolize tails. Otherwise, it produces 1, representing heads. This versatile function is applicable in diverse scenarios like simulations, games, or statistical studies. It introduces randomness to coin toss outcomes based on probabilities, proving useful in situations requiring random decision-making processes. The following script exemplifies a simulation designed to elucidate the frequentist interpretation of probability. It emulates the act of flipping a fair coin and monitors the absolute and relative discrepancies between the quantities of heads and tails to approximate the likelihood of obtaining heads. Breakdown of the script's functionality 1. The initialization of variables it assigns a considerable value in to represent the number of iterations and initializes variables for monitoring absolute and relative deviations. 2. Iteration loop it iterates in times to simulate each coin flip. 3. Coin flipping simulation It invokes the tosscoin function to acquire a result either head or tail. 4. Updating of deviations The script adjusts the absolute and relative difference arrays based on the outcome of the flip. 5. Graphical representation Upon completion of all iterations, it leverages the draw double graph function to visually depict the patterns in absolute difference and the ratio of heads to tails. This script serves as a valuable tool for illustrating the frequentist interpretation of probability via a tangible simulation. By repetitively flipping a coin and observing the fluctuation in discrepancies, it offers an intuitive approach to grasping how the relative occurrence frequency of an event such as obtaining heads converges to its theoretical probability with numerous trials. This simulation effectively reinforces the notion that probability can be perceived as the extended relative frequency of an event unfolding. The R code snippet showcases the concept of the frequentist definition of probability through a practical example involving simulated coin tosses utilizing the Gutplatu package. Here's an overview of the code functionality to begin with. A function named test frequentist definition probability is defined. The code sets the number of trials, denoted as n, to a significant value of 10,000 while declaring essential variables like heads count, absolute difference, and related difference. The simulation involves a while loop that executes coin toss simulations. 
Within each iteration, a coin toss is simulated by calling the toss one function, updating the heads count. The absolute and relative differences between the observed head ratio and the expected zero. Five are computed. The script also configures a plotting layout as a Tuxon matrix via Parmfro2. One in generates two distinct plots visualizing the absolute and relative differences across the toss trials using the plot function. This code segment serves as a valuable tool for eludating the practical application of frequentist probability notions. By conducting numerous coin toss simulations and evaluating the deviations in absolute and relative terms, it offers a graphical representation of how these divergences converge to the expected theoretical probability of zero. Five as the trial count escalates, this graphical aid contributes to comprehending the convergence of probabilities towards theoretical benchmarks through repetitive trials, playing a pivotal role in statistical analysis and hypothesis testing. The snippet of code presented introduces a function called test independence, however, it lacks the actual implementation details. This seems to mark the beginning of setting up a testing function aimed at confirming the autonomy or segregation of specific functionalities. Assessing independence plays a crucial role in software development by ensuring that different system components operate autonomously, avoiding unintended impacts through independence testing. Developers gain greater assurance that modifications made in one segment of the system won't disrupt operations in another segment. To finalize the independence testing process, further coding work would be necessary inside the test independence function to verify that the tested components or features uphold autonomy from each other. The following R script executes a simulation to assess the independence of two occurrences. Symbolized by flipping two distinct coins function toss one to 2,000 times each, it evaluates both the absolute and relative frequencies of each occurrence as well as the simultaneous incidence of the two events. Moreover, it computes the anticipated probabilities of each event icon, eto, ion and etu and illustrates them through a line chart produced with Kaplavu to juxtapose them against the observed probabilities. This script aims to showcase a fundamental independence test between two events using a simulation technique. Such an endeavor is valuable in the realms of statistics and probability to grasp the connection between two occurrences, particularly in situations where theoretical computations might be impractical. Leveraging Giplotu for visualization purposes aids in the comprehension and effective communication of the outcomes. In this script, a function named test same mean different variance is defined to compare two sets of random variables. The initial set, Ravone, consists of 1,000 random variables drawn from a Poisson distribution assuming a mean of 10. The second set, Rav2, comprises 1,000 random variables generated from a binomial distribution with parameters n12 representing the number of trials and p lambda and representing the probability of success. The function evaluates the mean and variance of each set of random variables and then generates two histograms to represent the distributions of Ravone and Rav2 graphically. The histogram corresponding to Ravone is depicted in blue, annotated with its mean and variance, whereas the histogram for Rav2 is illustrated in red, accompanied by its mean and variance as well. By juxtaposing these two sets of random variables, the code illustrates how random variables sharing the same mean can exhibit distinct variances. This distinction is a pivotal concept within probability and statistics, underscoring how distributions with identical means yet differing variances can assume notably diverse shapes. To achieve this visualization, the code leverages the NumPy and Seaburn libraries for random variable generation and histogram creation. Respectively, additionally, the matplotlib library is utilized to tailor the plot's appearance and feature essentials like the legend, title, and axis labels. This script proves valuable for eludating the interplay between mean and variance in random variables and their impact on distribution shape. It serves as an educational tool and a practical means to scrutinize and compare various probability distributions effectively. The following script generates two distinct sets of random variables that adhere to diverse distributions yet share the same mean. It produces random variables from both a Poisson distribution and a binomial distribution. The primary objective is to showcase that despite their matching means, these two sets of random variables can exhibit distinct variances, which is a fundamental feature that sets apart various probability distributions. 
Subsequently, the script assembles a data frame to merge these two sets of random variables and presents them graphically using a histogram, with each distribution highlighted in different colors. This histogram visualization aids in juxtaposing the distributions of the two sets visually. This script serves as an effective tool for elucidating the concept of variance, which serves as a metric for the dispersion of data points within a data set. Grasping how diverse distributions can possess identical means yet differing variances hold significance in statistical analysis and modeling, influencing the behavior and traits of the data under examination. Visual representations such as the histogram generated by this script play a crucial role in gaining insights into the variability and distribution of random variables. This code excerpt showcases the practical application of Gaussian mixture models GAM for clustering data points by utilizing a blend of Gaussian distributions. The outline steps include 1. Generating synthetic data by generating two distinct sets of data points, each adhering to a normal distribution with unique means and standard deviations, which are then amalgamated into a unified data set. 2. Fitting GUM to the data utilizing the Gaussian mixture functionality from Scikit-Learn to adjust a GUM to the aggregated data set incorporating two components. Moreover, the random state parameter is specified to ensure reproducibility. 3. Assigning cluster labels employing the fitted GUM model to forecast the cluster labels for every individual data point within the data set. 4. Visualizing the clustering outcome crafting a scatter plot wherein data points are differentiated by color based on their predicted cluster labels. This graphical representation aids in visualizing how the GUM segregates the data into clusters based on the fundamental Gaussian distributions. 5. Showcasing GUM parameters displaying the means and covariances of the components within the GUM model to grasp the attributes of the identified clusters. The utility of Gaussian mixture models lies in scenarios where data lacks clear distinctions between clusters and exhibits a more uninterrupted distribution. PIM supports soft clustering, where data points receive probabilities denoting their likelihood of belonging to each cluster. These models excel in capturing intricate data patterns, especially when analyzing datasets that showcase overlapping clusters or multimodal distributions. This piece of our code exemplifies the application of Gaussian mixture modeling to cluster multivariate data. Let's delve into its components one. It starts by loading essential libraries mass for generating multivariate normal samples, MLUST for conducting Gaussian mixture modeling, Duplato for crafting visualizations, two, to ensure reproducibility, it initializes the seed at zero using set, seed zero, 3. It creates two sets of multivariate normal data HON and T2 with defined means and covariance matrices VM norm from the mass library. 4. These datasets are merged into a unified data set X. 5. A data frame HADIF is fashioned from this consolidated data set. 6. The MLUST function from the MLUST library is employed to fit a Gaussian mixture model to the data. Setting G2 specifies the number of components clusters in the model. 7. The cluster labels assigned by the model are extracted and saved in labels. 8. The code then displays the means and covariances of the components derived from the Gaussian mixture model. 9. Leveraging Plotu. The code generates a visualization of the cluster data points based on the acquired labels. The plot uses colors to distinguish clusters and is tailored with titles, axis labels, a color legend, and a sleek theme, in essence. This code offers a practical demonstration of conducting Gaussian mixture modeling on multivariate data for clustering purposes. The visual depiction facilitates comprehension of the clustering outcomes and the distinct categorization of data points according to their distributions. Such methodologies find utility across various domains like machine learning, pattern recognition, and data analysis for unveiling concealed patterns within datasets. This sample illustrates the practical application of the Monte Carlo method in parameter estimation through random sampling. Outlined below is a breakdown of the code's functionality one. It begins by importing essential functions from the SIPIs. Stats library. Two, a function named test Monte Carlo estimation of parameters is defined. Three, within the function, the code sets the sample size R to 1 million and initializes the parameter values for S and E's. 4. Random samples of Z are produced from a normal distribution with an average of S and a standard deviation of certes. The code then calculates Y by squaring each sample, 
5. The code displays both the theoretical and Monte Carlo calculated values for the mean and variance of Z, along with the anticipated value of Y. 6. Subsequently, it updates as and is, generates fresh Z samples, computes K as the absolute value of each sample, and presents the theoretical as well as Monte Carlo estimates for the mean and variance of K. 7. Lastly, the function is invoked to execute the Monte Carlo estimation and showcase the outcomes. Monte Carlo techniques find applications across diverse domains to provide approximations using random sampling, particularly in cases where conventional analytical approaches prove challenging. In this instance, the code employs the Monte Carlo method to estimate statistical parameters like mean and variance based on random samples, offering a practical alternative in situations where analytical solutions are impractical or overly intricate. Employing Monte Carlo simulation, this code aims to approximate the mean and variance of distinct random variables. Here's a breakdown of its functionalities to start. It generates 1, 0, 0 random samples are from a normal distribution characterized by a mean of s and a standard deviation of square root s. Subsequently, it computes c as the squared value of these samples. The code proceeds by displaying both the true values and Monte Carlo estimates for the mean and variance of z and its square denoted as yz2. Subsequently, it adjusts the mean s to 0 and the variance is to 1. Fresh random samples z are drawn from this distribution, with k calculated as the absolute value of z. Further, the true mean ek and variance t of kz are computed. The code goes on to provide both the accurate and Monte Carlo estimated values for ek and vt. Monte Carlo simulation proves indispensable when obtaining analytical solutions poses challenges or simply isn't feasible. By generating a substantial number of random samples, this method enables us to estimate the characteristics of intricate systems or functions through averaging these randomly produced samples. The code's essence lies in calculating the estimated mean and variance of random variables Z, Y, and K via Monte Carlo simulation, furnishing approximate statistical values for these variables. This Python script serves as a practical demonstration of random variables variance relations. The purpose of this code is to illustrate 1. The random variable generation it generates a series of random variables from a normal distribution with a mean of 1 and a standard deviation of 1. The variance of this set of random variables is computed and displayed. 2. A histogram of a single random variable plotting a histogram of the generated random variables aids in visualizing their distribution. 3. summation of random variables multiple sets of independent random variables each with our samples, or generated, the script calculates the sum of these variables and compares the sum's variance to that of a single random variable. 4. A histogram of the sum of random variables A histogram is created to visualize the distribution of the summed random variables. 5. The average computation of random variables The script calculates the average of the summed random variables by dividing the total by n. A histogram showcasing the distribution of these averages is then plotted. By demonstrating how variance evolves when summing independent random variables and computing their averages, this code highlights essential statistical and probability theory concepts. Understanding these variance relationships is critical across various disciplines like finance, physics, and biology, where random variables are pivotal for modeling real-world phenomena and making informed predictions. The following R script kicks off by clearing the workspace to wipe out all stored objects and shut down any open graphical interfaces. Subsequently, it establishes the values of R and N as 10, 0 and 100 correspondingly. Following this, it initializes the standard deviation, denoted as dev, to 1 and sets the mean, represented as mu, to 1. It proceeds to create a vector z that houses 10. Zero random numbers drawn from a normal distribution characterized by the defined mean and standard deviation. Lastly, the code computes the variance of the obtained numbers and then displays this computed value. This script comes in handy for illustrating the process of generating random numbers conforming to a specific mean and standard deviation from a normal distribution in R. Alongside computing the variance of these values, it acts as a straightforward example to exhibit the execution of such tasks within R. The following snippet of our code produces a histogram plot depicting a variable Z, featuring a title that incorporates both the mean and variance of Z, 
By utilizing the CHIST function, this code generates a histogram, a visual display illustrating the spread of numerical data. The primary purpose of specifying the main argument is to assign a title to the plot. In this instance, encapsulating the mean and variance values of the variable Z. Histograms serve as valuable tools for visually depicting data distributions, unveiling the fundamental pattern and dispersion of the dataset. Incorporating the mean and variance into the plot title enhances the interpretative value by offering additional insights into the showcase distribution. In essence, this code facilitates the visualization of the Z variables distribution and emits key summary statistics mean and variance directly onto the plot, thereby enriching the data interpretation process. The following R code segment computes the sum of random variables through the generation of an random variable sets with an average of mu and a standard deviation of stev. By utilizing a for loop, the code iterates to generate these sets and then accumulates their sums in the variable sin. Subsequently, it evaluates and displays the ratio between the variance of the total random variable sum and that of a single random variable. Furthermore, the script constructs a histogram to visually represent the distribution of the cumulative random variable sum, providing an approximate depiction of sin's variance. This script holds value across a range of statistical and probabilistic scenarios. By summing random variables and examining the ratio of variances, it unveils insights into how the amalgamation of random variables impacts the overall variance or uncertainty within a system. Grasping these dynamics proves pivotal in risk evaluation, modeling, simulations, and diverse statistical analyses. The following R script carries out the computation of the mean of a collection of random variables abbreviated as R, B, S and thereafter generates a histogram for a visual representation of the sample means distribution. The code functions as detailed below one. Computation of the sample mean denoted as bar is executed by dividing the sum of the random variables sin by the total count of random variables n. 2. Production of a histogram illustrating the distribution of bar. 3. Specification of the histogram's main title to exhibit data pertaining to the random variables average. Encompassing the count of random variables n, the population mean mu, the variance devitu of the distribution and an estimated value of the variance of the sample means were utilizing the var function. This script proves invaluable for visually mapping out the distribution of sample means in scenarios involving the calculation of the means of multiple random variables. Inspection of the histogram allows for scrutiny of the distribution's form and provides the opportunity to draw conclusions about the entire population based on the characteristics of the sample means. The code facilitates comprehension of the central tendency and variability within the sample means, both of which are pivotal in statistical analysis and inference.